Good morning. Good morning. Good to see everybody out this morning. Uh, for our announcements, uh, Pamela Hall will be singing for us during the evening service. So uh, everybody uh, come out and support her this evening. Uh, the Tabernacle Bible Study. This is an Old Testament Tabernacle Bible Study taught by Reverend Dave Calicote. Every Wednesday, 7 p.m. here in the sanctuary, we'll be studying the Ark of the Covenant this week. Uh, and please keep Brother Dave in your prayer. Brother Dave's battling an illness, and uh, we just need to hold him up in prayer. I know God can do the healing power. Amen. Uh, special happy birthday wishes are extended to Sister Betty Bailey, our wonderful piano, church pianist, this Thursday, August the 22nd. Be a, a youth back to school party on this Friday, 6 to 9 p.m. in the fellowship hall. All the youth in the church are invited. And next Sunday at 5, <clears throat> the choir will have a special meeting in Sister Betty's classroom. All the choir members are asked to attend uh, that meeting. Uh, communion will be served during the morning worship on Sunday, September the 1st. And due to the Labor Day holiday, the Ladies Auxiliary will hold their first meeting of the fall on Tuesday, September the 3rd. Time to start finding your favorite recipes. Kellogg's annual homecoming service will be Sunday, September the 15th. The Wall family will be here to sing for us. And speaking of recipes, Julia Barr is still accepting recipes for the upcoming Ladies Auxiliary Cookbook. Please give your recipes to Sister Julia just as soon as possible. And the Fall Revival... Monday, September the 30th through Friday, October the 4th. Brother Mike Blanton and Evidence, uh, six weeks away. We're just knocking them down fast, but six weeks away. Please pray for the revival. And again, who will be your one? I like that. Also, this was uh, up here from Brother Roy uh, Bartram. It's uh, revival time, the Community Revival 2019. Tracy Call uh, will be doing the preaching uh, this begins on Monday, September the 16th, runs through Friday, September the 20th. Uh, there are a number of churches involved, uh, the special singing nightly. Uh, if you have any questions, you can see Brother Roy, and uh, he'll be glad to answer them for you. <clears throat> so uh, remember that, September the 16th through September the 20th. The uh, lesson today, <clears throat> Sons of Isaac and Rebecca, studying the lesson this week I there's a couple things that just really really stood out to me while I was reading over it. it 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 was strange that God would continue to make promises to give children to couples who were un unable to bear children you think, you think about that it was it's odd that he would do that but we got to remember that God is not limited by what limits us God is in full, full control. That led me up to this part that I read. <clears throat> we got to give Isaac credit. He had learned what not to do from his mom and dad, the mistake that they made with Hagar. Instead, he believed God's promise. He prayed, probably fervently prayed, many years and in God's time, he was rewarded. When I read that, I thought, don't let your mistake take you down. Somebody else might be learning from your mistake. I never looked at it like that till I read this. Sometimes we just let the devil just beat and beat and bad. Yeah, we, we're going to make mistakes. We're a human being. We're not perfect. But don't let that mistake just keep battering at you. Don't let it get to the point to where it's bigger than you are. Because somebody is watching your life. You might sit there and think, no, I don't know of anybody that's watching my life. Well, they're not going to walk up to you and tell you. But people are watching every move you make every step you take that I probably up and down our street they could probably tell us when church time is because we're we're consistent and that's what we got to be as a Christian you, you got to have consistency you got to have commitment to your life 
And uh, Isaac had learned a lesson from the mistake that his uh, mom and dad had made. Also, when we pray, as compared to asking for ourselves, how much do we ask for our brothers and sisters? Isaac prayed, and it said in verse 21 of the lesson today, Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife. Making an intercessory prayer. And when I read that, I thought of the times that I kneel down, and I always like to begin thanking God, number one, just thanking Him, and just continue thanking Him. But then I think about the time for, Lord, I, I need you to help me here. Lord, I, I need you to help me there. I, Lord, this, this is coming up. I, I'm going to need, I'm, I'm, I'm. <laughs> I felt ashamed when I read that. Because I'm at fault a lot of times of praying for, number one, I do pray for my brothers and my sisters. And I do try to remember the requests. And the prayer chain, when it comes through, whatever I'm doing, I try to whisper prayer. Sometimes it's, you're in a position where you can't kneel down and pray, but you can pray. You can still talk to God. But I fail a lot of times to put my brothers and sisters ahead of what I may think that I need or desire or want. So these lessons here have been really good for this old boy. I've enjoyed all of them. Uh, we'll be picking up our Sunday school literature probably someday this week they called said it was ready so I'll be getting it this week but this series of lessons a lot of stories that we have learned that we have heard year after year after year but I have picked up a lot of things out of these lessons that have been a big help I hope they've been a help to you all uh, the the Sunday school curriculum that we're getting now is a little bit different than the standardized Sunday school curriculum. I, I think I read the letter to you all where uh, they, they were going to change because the printing people that they were printing the lessons from were beginning to uh, get, cave in a little bit. They were beginning to let things in that shouldn't be let in. They were beginning to see things as... Mm, not too bad a sin. Listen, sin, sin. I don't care how big or little it is. I don't care what color it is. It's sin. So uh, these lessons, I, I, I don't know. Maybe there's something different to them, but they've really been a help to them. And I really appreciate these people for taking the stand that they've taken and, and uh, printing the literature out the way that they are. So uh, let's hold them up in prayer also because they're stepping out on faith. They're not following the standardized version. So... Uh, Let's hold them up in prayer also, okay? Let's all go to our classes. <clears throat> this is the day that the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad, glad in it. Amen. Get your hymnals and turn to page 240. <laughs>
Okay, for our Sunday school hour, we had a total attendance of 78, and we had 59 Bibles out of the 78. Uh, for our announcements, uh, Pamela Hall will be singing for us in this evening service, so we invite everybody to uh, come out for that this evening. Uh, the Tabernacle Bible Study, uh, the Old Testament Tabernacle Bible Study taught by Reverend Dave Calico uh, every Wednesday, 7 p.m. here in the sanctuary. And this week, instead of the Ark of the Covenant, we'll be talking about the veil. Brother Dave will be teaching on the veil. So uh, remember that and keep Brother Dave in your prayers. Uh, we want a special happy birthday wish for our pianist, Sister Betty. Uh, Thursday, August the 22nd, be her birthday. So we want to wish her a happy birthday. Uh, there will be a youth back to school party this Friday, 23rd, 6 to 9 p.m. in the fellowship hall, and all the youth from the church are invited. Uh, the choir, we're going to have a special meeting next Sunday, 5 o'clock, in Sister Betty's classroom, and all the choir members are asked to attend there. We just have some things that we want to kind of throw out and some things to discuss, and it's kind of hard to do when you don't re really set aside a time. So uh, next Sunday, 5 p.m., in Sister Betty's classroom. Communion will be served during the morning worship on Sunday, September the 1st. And uh, due to the Labor Day holiday, the Ladies Auxiliary will hold their first meeting of the fall on Tuesday, September the 3rd. Time to start finding your favorite recipes. Kellogg's annual homecoming service will be Sunday, September the 15th. The Wall family will be here to sing for us. And speaking of recipes, Julia Barr is still accepting recipes for the upcoming Ladies Auxiliary Cookbook. Uh, you can give your recipes to Sister Julia as soon as possible. And the Fall Revival, Monday, September the 30th through Friday, October the 4th. Brother Mike Blanton and Evidence, uh, six weeks away. So it's never too early to pray. So we need to pray. Who will be your one? Keep that in mind. Brother Roy Bartram uh, kind of heads up this uh, community revival for 2019. Uh, it begins Monday, September the 16th. goes through Friday, September the 20th. Uh, nightly at 7 p.m. Brother Tracy Call will be doing the preaching and special singing each night of the of the meeting and uh, I was given this this morning sister Ruby Davis she passed away Thursday night uh, eight mm -hmm. visitation Rollins funeral home Ruby Snyder. It's a, uh, well, I just read what's in front of me. <laughs> Rollins Funeral Home. Uh, visitation will be uh, tomorrow from 11 to noon, and then the graveside services will be at uh, 12.30. So uh, that's Ruby Snyder. Birthday, Sister Betty. <laughs> She saw, 
She saw a song on there. We're going to sing later. She said, Kathy, that was on my mind all day yesterday, and we sang it in our Sunday school class today. So uh, the Lord laid it in her heart and laid it in mine too. So this isn't it, though. <laughs> hand it just came on my mind as they're so strong and it just kept being with me and I thought well my class will have to sing that in the morning we did and now I come out here and she's got a food that's right that's how the Lord works I page 194 page 
Now you people out here for nothing. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. It's just it's not so fast. So you all join in. Everything, okay? Amen. All right. Praise the Lord. Amen.
Hallelujah. We don't need to understand, no. do we? That's right. We just need to know He holds our hand yes. and we hold His yes. hand. And I'm just praising yes. this morning. Yes. I know I'm a little loud in my shout and a little loud in my praise, but, but I can't okay. help that. That's, That's how God made me. Come on. So, but I, I do thank Him and praise His holy name. Amen. Praise His holy name. <laughs> now, if you'll turn to page 125. Now, remember on this song, everybody sings the first verse in the chorus, and then men sing the, the other two verses, and we just sing them. Y'all just kind of watch it. You'll, you'll get me. We're ready, Betty, when you're ready. Ready, Betty. Did I put the wrong page number down? It's 125 if I put the wrong <laughs> She's laughing. No, wait. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Yeah. 
this weary land and some sweet that she sung this morning was about heaven. I can't wait. Today would have been my daddy's 95th birthday. And mom and I were talking yesterday and she said, what a better birthday present for your daddy for me to meet him there. But this song goes right along with it. About heaven. A country where no twilight shadows deepen On ending days where night will never be A city where no storm clouds ever gather What heaven means to me What will it be When we get over yonder We'll join the throne Around that glassy sea Oh, we'll join our loved ones 
what heaven means to me. A place where there is no misunderstandings And from all enmity and strife will be free No unkind words to wound my heart will be spoken Oh, this is just what heaven means to me Can you sing it with me this morning? What will it be when we get over yonder and join the throne around the glassy sea? Oh, we'll meet our loved ones and cry. Bless your heart, Kelly. Thank the Lord. His incisions healing up. Thank the Lord. He's looking better. You know, he was raised with prayer. He was raised in church. And then the devil has a better part of him right now. God help. So we really need to pray for his salvation. If, yep. if this is going to show him what God can do for him, yeah. you know, his prayers are Amen. God's bigger than any problem we've got. He can take care of... I've seen Him. I mean, He can take care of things that we seemingly feel like is impossible. He can take care of it. And I've just, I was going over a song this morning. I kind of felt led to sing this song. And uh, I just wanted to ask the question, how faithful have you been to God? How faithful has God been to you? Something to think about. God has never, ever failed me. But I failed him. Just, just listen to the words of this song. It's number eight. Brother Mike. <clears throat> Thank you. 
In the mess of this old world Sometimes I need a word from heaven That everything's okay I try to walk by faith But sometimes I'm so afraid I cannot see how God will make a way But then I think He's never failed me, never left me, not one time as I cried out, and my voice he has not heard, never failed me, he won't start today, he will make a way. They are real, and I know you feel like God's forsaken you. But child, don't lose your faith. He is working while you wait. So just hold on. He will bring you through. He's never failed me, never left me. Not one time as I cried out And my voice he has not heard Never failed me He won't start today He will make a way He's never failed me He's been faithful So faithful So I choose to trust him now He will make a way somehow So just believe Then you will say He's never failed me Never left me Not one time as I cried out and my voice he has not heard never failed me he won't start today he will make a way he's never failed me he's never failed me And he never will. Bless your heart, Crystal.
I got up. thing I remember about the uh, you see yeah and I'll tell you what I just stood there and in the middle of the floor and still dead with you bless your heart yeah amen amen yeah <laughs> Amen. Amen. Anybody else? <laughs> Bless you, Brother John. Yeah. your heart needs.
Yeah. God can. God can take care of it. I would just stand here thinking that. It would be a good idea to have her anointed. <clears throat> One bigger than we are. Greater is He. Thank God. Greater is He. Gather around this, this morning. Those of you that believe in the power of prayer. Many a times we come, we, we use our doctors in the best way we know how. This morning, we come to the, with the great physician. Our Father, we realize, O oh God, this morning, that greater is He that is in me than He that is in the world.
not funny either but it's amazing many times how God can come and, and bless I uh, of course you know I, I left when the when service was over or when the singing was over this morning I had to go to the back and I praised him all the way uh, back and I praised him all the way coming back I'm glad thank God that we serve a risen Savior that's still on the throne if you have your Bibles this morning, turn with us to Philippians chapter 2. We're going to read a, a few verses and then try to deliver our heart to you. Philippians chapter 2. If there be therefore any consolation in Christ, if there be any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels of mercy, fulfill ye my joy that you be like-minded having the same love, have, being in one accord and of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife and vain glory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem, esteem the other better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus who being in the form of God thought it not robbery to, to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon uh, himself the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of man. And being found in the fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, glory to God, every knee should bow of the things in heaven and the things in earth and the things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. I, I believe I'll, I'll stop reading there. Well, let's go ahead and read that next verse. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not uh, as in my presence only, but uh, much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Would you bow your heads with us for a word of prayer? Our precious Heavenly Father, thank God. We're glad, Heavenly Father, that we can come in the name of Jesus. Thank God. That name, Heavenly Father, is far greater than any that we've ever heard. We ask you, Heavenly Father, to touch us. Lord, give us the anointing of the Spirit of the living God, that that makes an ordinary man a preacher of the living Word. And Lord, may we be used for a few moments of time this morning when you're through with us, Lord. Kind of nudges, Lord, that we could stand aside, that you may be given the glory, the honor, and the praise. For you are the one this morning that deserves all the praise that, Lord, can come from our lips. We give you praise in the name of Jesus, and amen. 
God being your helper this morning, I want to try to, uh, to uh, unload my heart. I, I, I thought this morning, somehow in this day and time that we're living, we need to change our attitude. I, I thought, you know, there used to be a, a day and time when the people of God would come in into church and and, and, and in coming in, there would, would be a, that of a, a reverence, my friends, uh, that they'd come in with, with my friend, a prayerful thought that, uh, that they were in the presence of the Almighty God and they wanted to see uh, His presence uh, uh, come down among them. And, 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 and the blessings of God began to and people uh, began to, uh, uh, to be under the demonstration of God's Holy Spirit. And I thought we live in a day and time when we come into the church. Our mind is a million miles away and our thoughts are upon so many things. Is it any wonder that we, uh, we, we don't see the mighty presence of God like that there was a, a time in which we did? I thought there was a time when people... They had come to church, whether they were saved or whether they were not saved, but they wanted to see exactly what was going to happen in the church house because they knew how people had prayed and, and, and they were obedient to the Spirit of God. And when they come into God's house, that things were going to happen. My friends, many of times the, the, the house was broken up and, and, and people began to get saved and, and began to believe in the things of God. And we need to change our attitude. We need to get back to the place, my friend, where we realize uh, that God is God to His glory. I, I thought there's many a time, I remember, uh, uh, when I was in service and you let an officer come into the room uh, and everybody would stand up and give salute. Uh, I thought my friends of uh, uh, those, uh, uh, my friends in the courtroom, when the judge uh, uh, makes his way in uh, his in grand entrance into that courtroom uh, and people stand to their feet. I, I'll tell you what, I, I believe this morning that you and I, I, when we come into the presence of God, I, I'm knowing that He said where two or three I, I were gathered in His name, I, I, there He would be in our midst. Should, shouldn't we come in I, I, with a reverence and an attitude, my friend? I, no wonder that woman could come in I, and say, I don't know what you come to do, I, but I come to praise the Lord. I, and I'll tell you what, I, our attitude needs to change. We need to come back to the place to where it's all about Jesus, my friend. It's all about my friend coming together as one and seeing the mighty presence of God come into effect. I thought that as the writer spoke here, he began to talk about that, my friends, that those things that we do shouldn't be done in vain glory. And that, my friends, as we do them, they'll be done in love. And I thought as we come together as the people of God, let us forget all of the outside influence that have overtaken you down through the week. And the many times I thought I heard a number of people say, well, the devil's been upon your back. When does he not get off of your back? It seemed like from the time that you get up until the time that you go to bed, he has a way of my friend trying to put that old uh, a slew foot out in front of you and try to trip you up. Uh, but thank God I'm glad that greater is He. Uh, amen! He that lives uh, uh, down in the deep wrought resources of my soul. Uh, uh, the one, my friend, that is able to do the exceeding abundantly above uh, that which I'm even able to ask or think. Uh, uh, that one, my friend, that is uh, the King of kings and the Lord of Lord, so why shouldn't I, my friend you and why shouldn't I, my friend with me we come into his presence and thank God I come before his presence with singing I know ye that he is God and that beside he that there is no other God I'll tell you what give the gods my friend with the little G out of the picture and get your eyes upon the great big God and it's still on the throne change your attitude and my friends we'd come in I wonder how many come in this morning 
glad you come in expecting uh, something good to happen. Uh, how many this morning when you come into the house of God, uh, did you come in and say, thank you, Jesus, uh, because I know uh, uh, that my friends, you're going to, Jesus, you're going to do something uh, in our presence this morning. Uh, I wonder how many, uh, my friend, come in with the mind and the attitude that, uh, oh, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Lord. Uh, I'm afraid that too many a times, I'll tell you what, uh, sometimes we need uh, uh, to throw that thing away. Uh, heaven's hey. coming to the house of God. Uh, there have been too many hey. times uh, when Facebook has taken over uh, and God has been put clear out of the picture. Uh, I want you to know uh, how you want to think of the enemy. I uh, uh, don't uh, uh, have his way. Uh, uh, let my friend that thing go ding uh, and see how many uh, have yeah. to go to look it up. Uh, I'm not uh, uh, saying my friend that there's anything wrong with the telephone. Uh, but we need to change our attitude that yeah. uh, five minutes uh, in the house of God uh, uh, that we can uh, turn them off uh, and get our focus, thank God, uh, upon the city of the living God uh, and begin to realize uh, He's everything. Uh, he's all. Uh, he's worthy. Uh, I'll tell you what, sometimes you can't stir people uh, with a stick. I wish somehow uh, uh, that I could stir you a little bit. Uh, uh, of what I'm feeling this morning. I feel it uh, way down deep in the soul. Uh, he is a uh, man uh, and our everything. Uh, uh, can you go back uh, uh, to the day that it lifted you up out of the great tires of sin and hell? Uh, and my friend, the blood uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ covered you. Uh, I'll say what? Uh, I felt good. Uh, I felt clean. Uh, and I felt my friend uh, uh, with all of my heart. Uh, that Jesus lived within my heart and it's still real. This morning as I come before you, he, I just say, preacher, don't you ever have trouble every day? I'm just like you, but I still believe that God is able to take us through and the attitude that we take, how it makes the difference if we come in with that humdrum attitude and say, Brother Lord, bless me if you can. He will bless you. You don't want to be blessed. But if you come in with your eyes toward the sky and your hands raised and say, Thank you, Jesus. It doesn't hurt my friend to thank Him and to praise Him just on anyhow because He's worthy. Thank God He's worthy and to praise my friend when we come into the house of God. You and I as the people of God need to change your attitude. Why do we come here? Do we come here to show off? I don't have a new shirt. But if I come in to show it. Amen. Too many a times our attitude yes. Yes. Yeah. needs yeah. to change. Yes. They used to go in into the old country church churches. They didn't have padded seats. They, they didn't have carpet. No. But I'm glad that we do this morning. Yeah. But I wish your attitude could that change that where we could get like they did. Amen. They got the rest. They didn't mind putting a, put a, uh, uh, something on, on the, 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 the floor uh, uh, there when they, they come in. <laughs> Because they come in with all their heart, yeah. with all their soul, yeah. with all their mind. Right. They come in to worship and give Him praise. Can you praise Him this morning? I put that death in your heart. I went so down. I got to disturb this place this morning where we realize, my friend, not only this morning, but when we come in the seeking, you may not feel, but thank God, who we ever feels anyway. We serve Him because that we love Him and because He's worthy. He's worthy of all the praise that you and I can give him. Our attitudes need to change. Yes, amen. Yes. Bless Great God creature. <laughs> we, we used to do those things, but we're more sophisticated now. Oh, 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 Come down and got to that, will they? Yeah. How many times? I'll be honest with you. 
what I thought this morning. I thought somehow God was going to break in upon the scene this morning yes. and we was going to have a, a, a house burning. Uh -huh. yeah. But it didn't happen. You ever think why? Ding! Where's my phone at? My phone's <laughs> over again. Ding! <laughs> Uncle Joe's. Uncle Joe is, is having a nosebleed. Will somebody give him praise? Yeah. That don't even make sense, does it? And a lot of stuff that we have on there don't make sense either. Right. 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 I'm meddling. I'm not preaching. I'm meddling this morning. But I think sometimes that we need to meddle. Because we're far off. If gods are everything, if, if God's are all the great and small, if He's still the King of Kings, and still, I, I, my friend, He's, he's upon the, 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 the highest place in my heart, then why not for just a little while? Why, why can't I come in and give Him the praise and the glory? Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. We need an attitude change. Yes. These kids used to come in and Betty Bailey would say, attitude check, and they'd say, Praise the Lord! I'd like to get an attitude check in here. <laughs> Those of you that know me, I don't come in to beat and to bang. I'm preaching to myself this morning. <laughs> Kick me in the seat of the preaching, Lord. <laughs> If he's still God, yeah. and we're still his servants, yeah. Yeah. and when one day a week, well, no, we we come in on Wednesday. Yeah. No more than four hours on Sunday, and one hour on Wednesday. That's five hours. How many hours are there in the week? <laughs> I would say if we would allot, well, Lord, I'm going to allot you 10%. That would mean if there's 24 hours a day, two and a half hours is going to be yours. Well, my goodness, we, we wouldn't even get nearly. One day's worth of payoff done yeah. in what we give to God. Yes. Our attitude needs to change. That yes. when we come in together as believers, our minds, we forget the troubles. We forget the pain. You're going to have pain anyway. So why not praise Him? You'd be surprised what will happen when you begin to praise the Lord. Yes. You forget about your pains. We can come together as God people and see the house burnt. Now, I'm not talking about like out on 75 or 52 there. They had a real house burning. Amen. But we, spiritually speaking, we can have a house burnt. Yes, we can go home. About that high. I know that we've been in the presence of the Almighty. Amen. We have His Word. He's given us promises. Let's change our attitude to where He gets the proper respect, the adoration, the praise that He deserves. Our Heavenly Father, we thank You this morning for Your mighty grace and power. I pray, Heavenly Father, that as we go to our homes this morning, Heavenly Father, just maybe there'll be something stick in our mind. Be nothing that I said, Heavenly Father, but maybe something, Lord, that you might be able to get glory for as we return unto this house. We give you praise and glory in Jesus' name. And amen. 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 amen.